The OCG isn't playing the Summon Sorcerers currently, but I mean, why? It transforms one Beckoning Beast into a good Yubei combo, so it's only logical to play it, isn't it? Well, I was surprised too, and that's the reason why I decided to investigate a little bit. Since Legacy came out, I only focused at the current stuff, but the release of Phantom, Fiendsmith, literally everything is getting closer, and so my attention shifts a little bit more to them now. And I have found out why they are not playing it, and I even think it makes sense and is correct. The reason is another card not yet released in the TCG in combination with the Fiendsmith, Moon of the Closed Sky. While that card's effect is completely irrelevant, its attribute and type is not. To help you understand what I'm trying to say, let me show you what they are currently doing in the OCG. Even without the Summon Sorcerers, my hand currently is a good Yubel combo, but how? Closed Sky is a generic Link 2 monster, so one Beckoning Beast easily makes her. The type and attribute is important because now we bridge into the Fiendsmith engine. The Fiendsmith will get a new Link 1 that only requires one light Fiend monster, so one Dark Beckoning Beast bridges perfectly fine into Fiendsmith. We just link away the Moon of the Closed Sky for the new Link 1. He is basically a Lone Fire Blossom just for Fiendsmith. We can activate his effect to tribute him for cost to special summon any Fiendsmith from the deck to the field. I won't go too deep into the Fiendsmiths just yet, I will dedicate them their own video once the release is getting a little bit closer. Today's spotlight is only dedicated to the Moon of the Closed Sky, because I want to show what basically replaces the Summon Sorcerers. With all that being said, let's continue. We now need access to a Link 2, so we activate opening by discarding any blank card and to reborn one Beckoning Beast, because the Fiendsmith, they not only come with a Link 1, no, that would be too too bad, they also get a Link 2 and that is completely insane. Fiendsmith Sequencia only requires one light Fiend monster, so pretty easily doable in that setup. But what exactly does it do? It's basically a miracle fusion. We can fuse into a Fiend monster by shuffling back the materials from the graveyard back into the deck. And no, if you thought that the Fiendsmith only comes with Link monsters, you are sadly mistaken. They also come with fusion monsters and especially one of them is really broken and it only requires two light feed monsters, which we have easily set up in the graveyard. We activate Sequencia's effect to fuse into the new fusion monster by shuffling away Moon of the Closed Sky and the Link 1. It's really important to leave the Fiendsmith in the graveyard because the new fusion monster Lacrimosa has an unsummon effect that allows us to reborn a Fiendsmith from the graveyard. We of course immediately take advantage of it by reborning the Fiendsmith and now, since the fusion monster is level 6, oh what a coincidence, we can use both the Fiendsmith and the new fusion monster to go into the next card that will be on the ban list probably. Beatrice. I mean maybe not on the next ban list immediately, but definitely the ban list after that, because with the Fiendsmith Beatrice is going crazy, like literally broken, but we only use her to get full combo, because we now activate her effect to detach uh, the fusion monster to then mill one Samsara D Lotus from the deck into the graveyard. I mean that's fine and all, but Samsara is in the graveyard and we need it on the field, how do we get to that? It's simple, because we still play one good card. Muckraker, and we just link Beatrice and the Link Monster into Muckraker to then activate Muckraker's effect to reborn the Samsara de Lotus. And even though we are feedlocked now, with only one Dark Beckoning Beast, the end bot is going to be crazy. That's exactly the reason why I can understand the OCG. Like I mentioned, most people aren't even running the Summon Sorceress there, since she requires you to run some awkward cards in your extra deck, while the Feedsmith can do the same and you run the Fiendsmith anyways. Combine that with an already tight extra deck and you get people cutting the Summon Sorceress. I can completely get that. Just to give you a little taste, that's the end bot you can accomplish by doing just the Dark Beckoning stuff without the Summon Sorceress. How you get to that exactly and a lot more, everything including Fiendsmith, literally everything, will have its own video, so keep an eye out for that in the future. Those are the topping OCG Ubel deck lists and they are looking quite similar to each other. I mean almost everyone is running the closed sky package instead of the summon sorceress. I even saw someone running both, which is interesting to say the least, but I also want to clarify one thing. If we get the summon sorceress before the fiendsmith or closed sky, it's of course completely correct to just play the summon sorceress. It's highly likely though that we get fiendsmith and closed sky before the summon sorceress. We all know fiendsmith will release in infinite forbidden. And Closed Sky is the big question mark. Maybe she is even in the Terminal Revenge Battles of Legends? 
but we don't know yet. We know the summon sorcerers. They need to release a new bandit for that and the new bandit will drop around the same time as Fiendsmith will release, which means if Closed Sky releases in any side set before the Summon Sorceress is free again, we might not even run the Summon Sorceress at all. Or you do it like this guy and just run both, but I don't really think that's optimal. Uh, that's just a lot to process. I mean, Fiendsmith, Phantom, Summon Sorceress, Closed Sky, what are the new ratios? What do we have to include? What do we have to cut? What are the new combos? It's way too much. But don't worry, I mean, I will make a video about literally everything and I will help you with that. So, just by subscribing to the channel, you're good to go. See ya.